a lot easier once we're moving. Once we're in the air, because obviously the engine's a lot noisier. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's weird, it feels bigger inside than it looks on the outside. It's a big machine, isn't it? Yeah. Big American armchair. <laughs> yeah. Ask you about taxiing, you have to zigzag everywhere, don't you? You do, yeah. Especially if, for you in the back, you won't see very much at all. I'm, I'm just moving the nose out of the way from yeah. what I need to see. Look, look down that side, then go that side, because I know it's clear. Yeah. Then once I, I suspect it may not be clear, go the other way again. Yeah. <laughs> I always cheat and go F2 view. <laughs> I can't do it in F2 view, I lose control. <laughs> That's why I always crash. <laughs> I'm so used to uh, F1 view that I can't do it. Yeah. I just get angry with the, the steering on the Spitfire because I'm used to using spins. I'm never going to trip these stairs the same way. Yeah. Better rather have a brake, better rather have a brake. Yeah, just bouncing on the bottom. Yep. Going the spit when I'm, when I'm moving in that, I, I have the rudder, then kind of dab dab. Yeah. I just tap the button once or twice to, to net, net brake up. Yeah. The key is to catch the swing, and when, when I turn this round, I'm going to have to anticipate the swing and put opposite rudder in a lot earlier than you think. Yeah. Uh, just to stop it turning. Right, I think we'll do a right hand departure this time and head out downwind and out to Wimple Hall just to move the noise around. Yeah. Back with me. Back with me. 951 TPA B, 30 minute flight to the east, request air for information, taxi. Right, so I'm going to turn us to the right and uh, swing us all the way around to the left. Nice. Uh, to do that, like on the P51 on DCS, I need to unlock the tail wheel, so stick goes forward. Yeah. Left rudder in now, the tail starts swinging, touch your brakes, get it going. Now it's opposite rudder, and now that it's opposite brakes, to stop the swing. Yeah. Bit of power to get myself straight again. <laughs> and now I'll stick back, and that's, that's our straight. Alright, now we do our power checks, so... Change tanks, left tank, top is full forward, TPs all look good, so running engine up to 1600. Up. On, on the top, back, and forward, the RPM drops, the RPM increases. It's warm, so only need to do it once, ordinarily be three times. Increase to 2000 RPM. Check around these two rods on right. Coming out of the uh, and both. Right. And both, that's all good. Half running check. Engine no drops. No rise, no rough running. Fully closed. Okay, okay, it's a power coming out of the fuel. We'll do it next moment when we take it. Uh, visual Sierra Tango ready for departure will be 06 left, please. Over to 06 left. Uh, report lined up, one copy. Report lined up and copy traffic. Go, Sierra Tango. You have to be facing into the wind to do that then. Uh, yeah, just to get more cooling air through the engine really, because it's an air-cooled engine. Right. Um, so yeah, normally on all the aircraft you face them into the wind just to help cooling when you're running the engine up. Obviously on high power it's going to overheat fairly quickly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's pretty good to be fair, but it's, uh, it's just precaution really. Uh, zero six craft, the wind is three four zero degrees five knots. Call Sarah Tango, rolling. That's us, right, you ready? Ready. Here we go. Build the power. I feel the need. The need for speed. <laughs> <laughs> right, so airspeed's alive, bringing the tail up by pushing forward gently. Yep. Adding right rudder because it's trying to swing on me. Tails up in the air nicely, 80 miles an hour, is ready to fly. Next time it bounces, there we go, catch it. Take the ground effect, tap the brakes, gear up. 100 miles an hour, that's good, move to the right to avoid the hangers. Top of week 9, ready for departure, Charlie. Top of week 9, uh, take a few questions there, 6 graph, 3, 4, 0, 5, 1. 
Sierra Tango, back with you, climbing out of the ducks for a basic service, passing 1300 1 0 0 7. Tango, Juliet, Tango, Cambridge Radar, Squawk 6166. Squawk 6166, Sierra Tango. Squawk Sierra Tango, report your level, QNH1007 and what type of service you require. Uh, passing 1,800 feet, 1007 for a basic service. We'll be climbing up towards uh, 3,000 feet, operating north and magically for aerobatics. Call Sierra Tango. Call Sierra Tango, Roger, basic service report. Uh, ready to move back towards Oxford. Call okay, Call Sierra Tango, basic service. Call Sierra Tango, caution, Grantham Lodge are active today with eight gliders. Uh, copy, Grantham Lodge, Call Sierra Tango. Got my Bravo, late road traffic on the right hand side as you pass by Duxford and Grants and Monta are both active today. Uh, Roger that, here's the air traffic dealt with. We're we talking to Cambridge, who is just down there on the right hand side, you can see the runway there. Oh yeah, that's Cambridge Airport. What do you say, six gliders? Yeah, six gliders at Grants and Lodge over to our left, so just to be clear of them really. So once we're north of Cambridge, I've had your control for a bit so you can feel the aeroplane. We're just passing through their airspace, so I need to keep it out. Sure. Are we going up over the clouds? We're going to go kind of to the cloud level, and then air about below them. So, yeah, we'll go just above. What's the highest we're allowed to go? Um, 5.5 five right here, 5,500. Once it's north of Cambridge, you go up to 15,000 if you want to. Wow. It's got the London airspace set up from here back into London. Roger, we're with five miles to join the instrument. Oh, this is too nice. We're going through the clouds. Lovely. Take this nice little valley here. Gotcha. Look at that. I think half a mile from the view, very close to the southbound no height information. Let's do a loop. Do you want to do a loop? Okay. 
fly there towards a gap in the cloud. Over the 
Let's all feel rich, sorry, rich, okay? Knees back down, let's all wait. Oh, back up the other way, and we'll power on, let's do the right. Knees good, rolls good, Whoa. and it comes down. Call Sarah Tango, we're complete, uh, just uh, born, heading towards Wimbledon, return to Duxford. Call Sarah Tango, Roger, keep going, Calcutta, you pass by Bone Frog, you can see three contacts just to the east of them, all uh, north squawks or height information. Call copies, uh, Call Sarah Tango. Call Sarah Tango, I've got nothing to squawk on. Call to Duxford, 122-0080, thanks for the call. Squawk on security, 122-0080, thanks very much, Call Sarah Tango. Okay then, so you can taxi to holding point Delta. Rock control for a bit, off the Control, yeah. If you're feeling unwell, it often helps. Yeah, control, you have it. We're in forwards now. Yeah, so this heading is good, you can slow the nose just a tiny bit. Okay, that's good. Control, 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 Harbour Golf Bravo, Juliet Sierra Tango, Batting Board 2500-1007, a rejoin. Golf 
Tango uh, rejoin to Romney 06 right down in QFC 1003. 06 right, QFC 1003, Golf 0 Tango. Golf 0 Tango, Romney 06 lined up to 06 right. Welcome, Hi, do you want to load and load a bit? We'll go down towards uh, the south of the line, about 6 miles east of the rejoin. 9 join 06 right hand QFC 1003. Join 06 right hand 1003. Yeah, Johnson's over there on our left wing ship. We've got to go around Falmere to get in there, so we've got to go south a bit just to get around. Yeah. My humies are showing 4.25 in the front. They did up pretty well. I'll do. No doubt, got that tank, yeah. Perfect train there, Roger, on my up. Right, do you mind if I take it there? That's uh, airspace time now. Yeah, time control. You're off control. Nice, that's nice, right. Perfect, sorry. 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 Perfect, Trend, you take off your discretion, uh, 06 right to the wind is calm. At my discretion, 06 right, go for it, yeah. Are you going left hand or right hand? Right hand circuit, please, and I'd like to take the grass from that The traffic for you is a Tiger Moth joining from the west and a harbour just getting airborne then to the right hand circuit. Uh, Gold Sarah, thank you, I think that's well, yeah, copy the uh, traffic, we're now about 5 miles final, 06. Roger, if you could report 2 miles, please. Okay. I was just about to say, you're watching. Oh, but, uh, Grim Reapers, you know, the cap never looks around, you know, and I said to him as, uh, when, when I've been flying him, you know, the thing I noticed in your videos, you're never actually looking around, you're just kind of looking forward. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's a good point, I, I, I spent my entire day looking around the sky and making sure I'm not going to hit anyone. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's different when you build a mission, you know there's nothing there when you because you're not putting it in. Yeah. Right, so we're looking out for traffic on the right hand side, anywhere between here and the village over there. That's the circuit for the airfield. We're yeah. looking right to them. Found me on the left hand side there, that's the uh, next hurricane base of the empty ones. Wow. And obviously Duck Super Spitfires, Mustang, Thunderbolts. Golf Zero Tango, two miles. Golf Zero Tango, roger. Uh, land your discretion, uh, zero 06 left, I assume. Uh, the wind is uh, northwesterly, less than five. Land 06 left with the gear, Golf Zero Tango. Southwest 9, downwind, 39, full stop. Southwest 9, roger, uh, Harvard uh, to just coming up to two mile, uh, three mile final. Uh, two mile, actually, sorry. for the information, Golf Hotel Alpha Lima Juliet on the ground. Right, so that's full flat traffic. We've got all the flat, we've got the propeller four forward, we've got the gear down the locks. Second wing six, taxi Charlie. The 19 is where we want it. Charlie coming out. for the information, Gold Hotel Alpha Lima Juliet on the ground at Thalmia. So what you probably don't get is DCS, when you're on the approach, if you're getting low you should have power, if you're getting slow you should put the nose down, yeah. so it's kind of the opposite to what you'd expect, the throttle th th doesn't really do airspeed on approach, right. it does your glide path, so if I'm getting higher take the power off, and if I need some more speed the nose goes down, so it kind of, they work hand in hand, but yeah, balance. Right at the moment, the power's come off, the nose has gone down to, to maintain 90. I'm coming back on profile, I actually won't need the power on the end. 
for like a minute, 90. Here's our locked last jump, good, power comes off. And my for impact.